Today on Thrifty Whiskey, the guys will be reviewing Evan Williams Bottled and Bond. Evan Williams Bottled and Bond is a straight bourbon whiskey from the Heaven Hill Distillery. Per the Bottle and Bond Act of 1897, this bourbon is at least four years old, bottled at 100 proof, and is the result of one distillation season. The mash bill of this bourbon is 78% corn, 10% rye, and 12% malted barley. We paid $16 for our bottle with an average retail price of $17. As always, your prices may vary. Enjoy! Thanks, Joyce. Let's go ahead and see what we think. Okay, this time it smells like bourbon to me. Yes, it does have bourbon-y, bourbon-y notes on the nose. So, uh, oak, brown sugar, corn, corn. Yeah, it's an Irish. It smells like a good bourbon. Yeah, actually a bourbon. Like it smells just like a bourbon. A very classic but robust bourbon. Like it's yes. not dwindled. It's just classic robust bourbon. That's about all I'm picking up. Is like brown sugar, oak, caramel, cream. caramel. Yeah. Nothing particularly but, exciting, but very well done. It is jumping out of the glass. Yes. yes. It's not like one of those bourbons where I'm like, okay, is there, okay, now, yeah, there's the bourbon. Like, no, this is just like, bourbon. Here I am, a bourbon. It tastes yeah. like a bourbon. That's a bourbon. <laughs> I feel like we should put Macho Man Randy Savage glasses on and strap them to a Slim Jim. You look like my step into a Slim Jim. I'm getting Slim Jim on the nose. I really like this one. I like it. But yeah. it's nothing, honestly, it just, it's just bourbon. It's a robust bourbon. That's I'll what tell it you is. what it is. Yeah. This is a bourbon's bourbon. If you like bourbon, this is a I'm, bourbon. I'm getting some anise and notes. And it's not going to be a bourbon. And we're going <laughs> to like it's, it's, If it's not a bourbon, <laughs> it's a rye. No, it's not a rye. There's no eucalyptus. No I'm, mint. I'm getting some. I'll tell you. This is really good for an Irish. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we have an in joke. <laughs> we do. We've been long. I mean, do you realize we are on review 70 something? Jeez. Really sweet brown sugar on the finish. It's got a good oak tannin. I'm not getting anything beyond just bourbon notes like brown, the brown sugar, the caramel, the vanilla, the oak. But it's robust. It is present. It is making itself known. It's like, yo. It jumps out of the glass. Like, it, yes. it is very good. There's nothing special about it, but it's very, very good. Very well done. Very good proofing. Adding some more. Like, I don't know what yeah, the proof is. Yeah, I mind. I, I'm not quite sure what the proof is on this yet, but it's perfect for this. Ooh, I need a little bit of water. Brought out some more of the caramel. See, I'm getting like a peach. Yeah. On the nose. Yeah, especially with, after the water. Which is a note that I don't always mm. get from bourbon. Now it has something there. Has something unique. Yeah. That's good. Not just peach. We used to get in our MREs a freeze-dried peaches and cream packet. And that's what this nose smells like. You rip open the foil bag and you smell that freeze-dried peaches and cream from an MRE. Am I eating the peaches? But... That is just a solid bourbon. Yes. That's all I really want to say about it. Just like solid classic bourbon. Man, we're going to be real disappointed with this bourbon. If it's not a bourbon, um, if this then, is we, not, then we've lost all credibility. If this is not a bourbon, <laughs> if this turns out to be a really good Irish, no, <laughs> I, I will lose my mind. This is bourbon, and it, I will... I don't know. Just if I could figure out a good way to say something cool, I would say it. I will eat my hat. I would eat my hat I if I had a hat. But I'd eat their hat. I like my hats. I'll eat my shoe. No, I'll do a live stream where someone puts pie in my face. Actually, that sounds pretty good. It's not really a punishment. <laughs> <laughs> a bourbony peach pie. I'll throw the pie. <laughs> mm, pie. I could go for some. I could really actually go for some peach pie with this on the side, and, and or in peach and some ice cream. Alamo. Yeah, so that you get that peaches and cream that I was mm-hmm. just talking about. Man, I think we've beat the horse that yes. this is a bourbon. I but think it's time a, to a good one. Mm-hmm. 
A very, very good one. But nothing special, just really good. So on a scale of zero to five, what do you guys think of the nose palette and finish? Ones across the board. He's joking. No. <laughs> no. I really like the way the nose jumped out at this. For our loyal viewers, you know that I'm typically a neat person. But adding water to this just made it more robust. I could definitely do this bourbon either way, and I would do this bourbon either way. <laughs> I like um, how you say so confidently. <laughs> like, we're going to do the same thing, but <laughs> we are. We are going to do the same thing. But what? <laughs> it's a this bourbon. bourbon. This yeah. bourbon. Not yeah. whiskey. This, this is a bourbon. This. <laughs> this drink is fantastic. I'm actually going to go four and a half across the board on this one. I think the downfall on it is that there's just nothing that makes this stand out from other bourbons. Other than it's bold. Other than the, it is a it is a yeah. very, very well done bourbon. Mm -hmm. Yes. I agree with you almost the whole way down. I'm going 4.5, 5, 4. Okay. All right. I did think the finish is so where you're still average it. Oh and yeah, it's still average four and a half. <laughs> like it's basically the same. But the the couple of drops of water to bring out that peach, the thing that was missing without the water was that special, semi unique note that peach brought was that note, and so that gave it a five on the palate for me. I'm gonna start by saying I didn't get the peach note. I still even with the water, basically just got the same notes. Slightly different levels, but still just a great bourbon. I'm going just fours across the board. Oh, you're wrong. I know, but <laughs> despite that, it's still a really good this rating for me. It's a great bourbon. This is a great bourbon. It's a, it's a freaking four out of five. It's going to go on our favorites playlist. Like, yes. It's going to be there. Add a couple more drops of water and see it. Because I added I added about six or seven drops of water to mine. And I did go a little bit water heavy on this one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. This is a little more fruit now that I put a few more water drops in there. <laughs> Not peaches for me, but it's fruit. Okay. It's just fleshy. generic fruit. No, it, it's a more cherry for me. But I, I can see cherry. But cherry and cream? Like, I'm definitely going to be cream note a little more now. You, cherry you always cobbler. find cherry, though. I know. Well, it's a, bur yeah. Cherry is a typical bourbon yes, now. it is. It is. It is. <laughs> Maraschino cherry? Yeah, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I think this is like just like a cherry off the tree. I would say this is closer to a cherry off a tree than a maraschino cherry, but... I'm still going forward across the board, though. It's a good nose. It's bourbon. It's bourbon. Again, on the palate, it's bourbon. Are we ready to go to guesses? Bourbon. Yes. Yeah, I think <laughs> we're just going to move on to guesses now. We want to know what type of whiskey you guys think it is. Never mind. It's already bourbon. It's a bourbon. What, kind of, what proof do you think it is, though? What price do you think it retails for? And what would you pay for it? This is the worst scotch I have ever had. Uh, that's uh, accurate. <laughs> <laughs> that is an accurate statement. This would be the worst scotch I've ever had. If yeah. This is a scotch, it's the worst scotch I've ever had. If this is an Irish, it's not a very good Irish either. <laughs> I'm going to go definitely this is a bourbon. I think this is a 90 proof. It's got a good... Good little chest punch there. Yeah. On it. So I'm going to go 90 proof on this. Retail. I think it's going to surprise us and be one of those uh, diamond in the rough $15 bourbons that I would honestly pay easily $28 to $30 for. So I was going to say 90 proof. I'm now going to say 100 proof. <laughs> Just going to jump right You're to 100. I'm allowed to say 90. I am allowed to say 90. I, I think it's a 90 proof bourbon. It is a bourbon. It's, it just is. I think if this is retailing for anything less than 20, they need to raise their prices. Don't yeah. do it. Don't oh. do it. Don't do it. But I should. I would honestly be willing to pay, like, like you said, 20, 30 bucks. I think this probably retails at 20. I think it's a bourbon. I do surprise. I do don't think it's hunter proof. Say. <laughs> you do? I do. I think it's hunter proof. I am going to. Be with you guys, and I think it's going to surprise us. I'm going to go retail for 18. I would pay, I want to say 23 for it. Oh, you're cheap. Yeah, I am. Okay. I'm, I'm I mean, you're the to, one who's actually paying for the whiskey, so. I'm going to ask both of you because you both said 100 proof. Bottled in bond or just 100 proof? Well, he said 90, actually. I went back, but I... He was going to say I'm, 90 until I'm I did. I'm going to go 100, 100, and I'm going to go non-bottom bond. 
Okay. Oh, I think Bob and Bond. Bob Bond and Bond. All right. But I also have inside Multiple knowledge. choice. Yeah. So, no, no, that being said, every time I've had inside knowledge, I've been wrong. Right. So. And heck, we could all be wrong. This could not be a bourbon. Yeah. It's bourbon. It is. It Let's is. figure out which bourbon it is. <laughs> Today, we're drinking Evan Williams Bald and Bond. Knew it. I knew it. <laughs> this is very good. And this the label even says, good. finally crafted. Finally, an advertisement that does not lie. As everyone pretty much already knows, this is a good whiskey. Mm -hmm. This is a great bourbon. <laughs> yes, it is. So today, we did indeed drink Evan Williams Bald and Bond, also known as Evan Williams White label. This is a Kentucky straight bourbon. It is a hundred proof. It is at least four years. One, because it's straight, and two, because it's bald and bond. The mash bill is 78% corn, 10% rye, 12% malted barley, which is a high malted barley content. Yeah, the, I said high rye, and it's not. Uh, if everyone's definition of high rye is different, and I it annoys me. We paid 16, general price is 18. Sorry, 17. General price is like 17. <laughs> oh, did I mention you can get this in Pennsylvania? Ooh. I'm definitely Ooh. get I'm definitely getting this at 17. <laughs> yeah, I was willing I, to pay nearly double that. Right. Hey, you you know that $30 I'm bottle? I'm probably picking up two bottles. I'm picking up two of this <laughs> yeah. instead. And I'll pay the extra couple bucks. If really you snap. watch anybody talk about this bottle, everyone loves it. Um it's <laughs> for good reason. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about ratings from our sites real quick though. No, I'm getting everyone me. loves this, right? Like hundreds across the board. Distiller give it eighty. That's low. That's low for distiller. Yeah. Whiskey ab Whiskey well, Advocate. I mean, they can be wrong every once in a while, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Whiskey Advocate gave it an eighty-six. That's all right. Wine enthusiast an eighty to eighty-four because uh, reasons I don't know. Tastings.com gave it a ninety. Tasting notes from around the web include on the nose vanilla, caramel, sweet oak, fruit, spice, and marshmallow. On the palate, nut. Usually specifically almond, sweet, vanilla, caramel, brown sugar, oak, cinnamon, spice, and on the fish, dry, sweet, long, fruit, oak, and tannin. We like this bottle. You will too. You absolutely will like this bottle. Every other whiskey tuber loves this bottle. Let's leave it at that. Until next time, may the winds of fortune sail you. May you sail a gentle sea. May it always be the other guy who says, This, this drink's, drink's on me. me.